Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wellsourced coming at you with another part of a recent Goodwill Outlet Bins haul. So this day I went to the bins in Nashville, Tennessee, where I pay $1.49 a pound. I got a total of 118 pounds this day, and I divided this into different hauls. The first two are already up, and this one is going to be the remaining of the clothing. I was able to make this into four parts just for time constraints and how I wanted to space this stuff out. So the final video that'll come out next is going to have just a few remaining clothing items and all of the shoes and accessories that I got that day, which were not a ton, so it will be a, a little bit of a smaller haul, but I did want to divide that out separately. And so without further ado, we'll just go ahead and get right into this portion of the haul. All right, so the first item up is from Target. It's the Who, What, Wear line. This is a size 12 skirt in this fun kind of calico floral, micro floral pattern all over. It has a side zip to get into it. It does have some pockets and it's a bit of a more full skirt, but not totally full, a little bit of an A-line. It does go down to a, I'd say maxi length, maybe midi, depending on your height. It is tiered here, so you can see that it goes from there to here, but it's all the same pattern. So this has a very cottage core, romantic kind of prairie core look to it. Also just summer and um, getting ready for the upcoming season. This is the brand Natural Life. They have like a catalog brand, well, website now, but you sometimes get a catalog. And they also sell in boutique stores um, some of their items. This is just one of their classic V-neck jumpsuits. They're very wide leg. They have a big bell leg down here. They're a bit of a drop crotch. They're super oversized. They're one size. So if you're a size extra small, this is going to be voluminous. <laughs> like you will be very, you know, enveloped in this. I am an extra large-ish, busty extra large, and I can still fit into the one size ones. The fun thing about these and their dresses is that they have a raw hem on the bottom, so you can trim it to the length that works for you. So if you are shorter or want a cropped length, you can make that work. This is a blue, kind of a slate blue color with this fun orange trim on it and some sort of little fuzzy, little bonus. So I just list these and uh, jumpsuits like this, these cozy ones, do pretty well for me historically. They're not super expensive on the website to begin with, but they do well for me reselling. This is the brand Swimsuits for All. So they do um, make extended sizes and they also make like modest swimwear. So like a little bit more skirted or longer length shorts. This is a pair of navy blue I think this navy blue, navy blue swim shorts. They have a pocket and it does have a swim liner, like a brief liner in here. And this is a size 30, 32. So they do, I think 32 might be the, the largest size they carry in, a, um, in the shorts. I did look on their website to see what their size chart looked like. So that is a great extended size and a perfect short just so that you can get wet and feel get in the water but still feel like you're being covered up a little bit. Or the last place on earth that I ever want to be is in a swim park in a line. Like that's where I don't wanna be. Even when I was thin and fit and in shape, um, I didn't wanna stand in line in my bathing suit. So it's nice to have shorts. So those would be perfect for like the water park or places that you're going to be getting in and out of the water a lot um, and walking around rather than just laying poolside or at the beach. All right, the next few things are all things I grabbed for myself. So a couple weeks ago, Old Navy was having, you know, like a 99% off sale, not really, but 50% off sale, all shorts. And I thought, oh, I'll get myself some shorts for summer. And they, you know, were still $20 by the time you got them half off. So I just found a bunch of these shorts. I thought, okay, well, we'll see if they fit. This is just the natural, naturals, ref, natural reflections, which may be sold at Belk. I don't know. Um, Belk is a department store specific to the Southeast part of the country. I consider it to be sort of a lower end, like Macy's Dillard's, but um, these are just a pair of stretch waist, like 
chino short with a drawstring. They do have um, about a three inch inseam. So that's great. This is a pair of old, just old navy shorts I grabbed for myself. They're lined, they're in this fun kind of cream and white, cream and white, cream and black print, elastic drawstring waist. Again, same deal. Same pair of shorts, these were all like in the same bit. This is that natural reflection size, extra large uh, khaki color instead of the khaki green. And this is uh, same brand, everything. This is just a pull on. This is more, um, this has stretch waist and it does have a cuffed bottom hem, which I did wash these. I just need to kind of steam down the bottom hem on that. And the last pair I got was just a pair of Gap, extra large pair of shorts in this fun kind of mm, botanical print in this green color. And these feel like linen maybe. Oh, live self. So they're a great feeling short. I may only fit into one of these shorts. Shorts are a particularly hard thing for me to find that fit um, because even when I am thinner, I have a bigger thighs. And so I feel like everything's just really tight around the thighs and ride up, which makes everything super uncomfortable to wear. Which is why, why I like to wear dresses when I am on vacation because they're just, it's one item that you're packing and you're comfortable and it's breezy. And then I do wear shorts underneath so I don't get chafing. But um, if you know, you know. Okay, so this is Beach Lunch Lounge, which you would typically think of as like real cotton, beachy, boho, summer kind of look. Uh, this is a very soft size medium leopard print turtleneck in this very soft material. I have two dogs right by me chewing on two different bones. So that's a nice background noise. Uh, this is what I get for letting them be a free for all today. Anyway, this is super soft, totally not on season, but um, a nice piece regardless. Okay, next up is this bodysuit. This is the brand name. It's an M inside of a triangle inside of a circle. It kind of looks like the Deathly Hollows from Harry Potter, but this is a off shoulder bodysuit and it is a halter. So it ties in the front. It's this floral pattern, um, satiny red color with a bodysuit with snap crotch. This is the brand Misguided. It is on the inner tag. And this is a UK brand, as far as I know. Um, it's a US size too. UK brand that is very cheap to begin with and kind of probably like the Shein of the world. However, it was a cute bodysuit. And as I said in a previous video, I am like determined to pick up a, one or two things from Shein, brands like that, Forever 21, um, that are just so fast fashion that I can keep at least a few of them out of the landfill. In the first part of this series, I talked about a bin that I was in when I first got to the bins and then they were, I found all these things and then they were pulling it away. So one of the things I grabbed out of that bin was this Bowden dress. This is a size 12 long, eight long US. It's 100% linen. It is an orangey coral color. It has this fun little trim detail along here. It's a, uh, just at the knee length, probably kind of lagging look out a cottage core as well and got these uh, has these slip pockets down the side and It's just a very cute dress. So it is a little wrinkly if you can see the front Just has some fun details almost like an apron dress. I Did wash that so I need to iron it. I do launder probably 75% of the things that I bring home especially black items, things that are solid color, things that have kind of a smell to them, um, or just things that look like they might need a little bit of a wash. If not, I do obviously steam everything before I take photos. So that is not everyone's business model and that is for them, this is for me. So um, I, it's not something that is a requirement. Okay, this is a brand I just picked up based on the style and the fabric content. It's OPT which might stand for only pretty things. I can't remember, I looked it up when I got home. It's a size small. This is a squared off neckline crop. 
with these puff sleeves. It has a smocked back to it. People did have this brand listed as Anthropology, but I feel like people do that a lot. Um, and it's not necessarily true. Maybe they did sell one item through Anthropology in the past, but I could not find anything about that, about this piece. This has a side zip um, entrance or closure. And I grabbed it initially because of this. So it's 60% flax, 40% cotton. So it had a great fabric makeup to it. And these were comping out very well. Um, it also came in like a coral color maybe and a different color, but um, I will obviously put on the screen what this is comping at. And it's just a very cute sh shirt or crop with a very nice texture to it. This is the brand Torrid in a size two, which equates to a two X. It's an open knit short sleeve sweater top, summer sweater top, short sleeves, wear a tank or a cami or your bathing suit under there, be really cute. It had maybe just a tiny bit of wash wear to it, but not a ton. It's 100% uh, acrylic. It feels like cotton though. And this is from, actually it's an older piece from 2010, but it looks in very nice condition. And I st think it's a classic style. So it's not like it went out of style right away. This is the brand BKE, which is um, BK BKE Boutique, which is Buckle. So it's sold at Buckle. This is a kind of gauzy, crepey, wrinkly top in this black color, short sleeves with this crochet insert, this lace floral overlay. I don't know what this is called, ladder trim. I don't I made that up. Sounds good though. Um, and it has a keyhole back as well. It's just a basic kind of boho summer top. And that is BKE stuff. Honestly, I don't get a ton of return like price wise, but it sells pretty well for me. <clears throat> this is one of the things, so I do talk often about how I don't look up um, comps at the bins, but I found this wool jacket that I knew was going to weigh several pounds and I wanted to check it before I brought it home to see if it was something I wanted to bring home. So the brand is Bromley. It's a women's size medium. It's a wool blend jacket and you're not, it's wrinkly, you're not gonna be able to tell, but it has this fun kind of pleating in the back and it kind of gives it a little more pizzazz and it is double breasted up front in this gray charcoal color. So it is a size medium, so it was a decent size and it was in nice condition. I didn't have any pilling or anything going on like that. And the fabric content tag is somewhere. There it is. It is 65% uh, wool, 30% polyester, and then other fibers made in the Dominican Republic, dry clean only. So I feel like this is kind of just a classic style for someone, obviously going into the wrong season for that, but that's all right by me. I did also on this day pick up a men's wool cashmere coat and I thought, oh, this has like an Italian sounding name. It looks like it might be fancy. And the comps on it just weren't that great. The comps on this looked better when I looked at the bins, but I don't do a ton of searches looking for different things like pleats or gray or certain blends because the internet service in there or cell phone service in the bins is so horrible. It takes forever to do a search. So. I just decided to go for it. I think I can get at least $25 to $30 for it. This is MG size small. MG is a weird brand in the sense that it retails for a lot. I don't feel like it's like the best quality, but they make cute boho fun kind of pieces. So this is not embroidered. It's just kind of an applique. It's not even an applique. It's just sort of a screen print, but it's a cream, almost pink color top with this pink overlay pattern. It does have a bit of a exposed arm, cold shoulder look to it, but not, it's just more summery than like a true exposed cold shoulder, just kind of breezy. And it's in that real textured, crinkly, it's not really muslin gauzy, but it's that crinkle fabric. Um, so you don't have to iron it most of the time. So I just went ahead and picked it up. I thought it was a nice piece for someone. 
This I picked solely for style and the fact that it was new with tags. So it's New York and Company, which may be sold at Macy's, I can't remember. This retailed only for $46.95. It's a size eight, but it's a satin, python print, snake print, knee skirt, pencil skirt, and it is lined. It has a the slit in the back. It has um, a back hidden zip. And it's just a fun kind of more edgy piece that you could wear easily with like a nice turtleneck and tights and boots or some heels or however you want to dress this up. I don't wear snake print things because I hate snakes. If you've been watching my channel long enough uh, and actually listen to the jumble of words that come out of my mouth <laughs> that are sometimes a ramble, then you will know that I hate snakes more than anything else on this planet. And they just haunt me for whatever reason. So I am drawn apparently to snake items though. This is the brand Angie, which I've looked it up. It is sold at like Nordstrom Rack occasionally, but I always see it at um, like Ross. So this is a size large. This is a, uh, just a mini dress. And especially for a large, it's definitely a more of a medium but it is a black with a pink and white print floral it goes down into a midi length it has an elastic waist i think it had pockets too it does have pockets i always list that something has pockets because i feel like that is super important <laughs> uh for me at least because i like to have pockets it has roll tab sleeves it's just a cute basic piece that i felt like would be a great bundle piece for someone Again, in that bin where they were rolling things out and I was contemplating chasing it down, um, I grabbed this out of there. I just saw the tag. I didn't even look at the sweater. I threw it in my cart and I never ever checked on it again. So for all I knew, it could have had holes all over it or been damaged, but luckily it wasn't. So the brand is Velvet by Graham and Spencer. It's a size small. It's a longer line, pale, pale pink sweater with this mock neck has these fun little it's like a pointel knit almost um cut out detail and down the center and it's very soft it has a rounded bottom hem it's 93 percent acrylic and three percent wool so it's not like heavily laden with cashmere or an amazing blend blend this is not a cheap brand to begin with but the comps for this exact sweater didn't look horrible so I did, as I said in previous videos, pick up several sweaters this day, but um, also a random assortment of everything else that I normally pick up. All right, this I picked up. <laughs> I love vintage things. The brand is Popovich. This is a size um, U12, made in the USA. It's 100% acrylic. It is a long sleeved if I can get this to do its thing, huh? Long sleeve teal kind of dress with these fun um, padded shoulder pad action going on, just a straight sleeve. It does look like it has a little bit of a mark on the back here, but I'm not worried about it. This goes to a midi length. It's just a straight dress. And it wasn't anything fabulous, but it was also had a vintage look to it. Well, it is vintage. You can also, I think, make this into a turtleneck and fold it over, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, this brand of dress, the Popovich dress, it, you know, the resale on it's probably $18 to $25. But again, I have this whole thing about saving certain items that lead me to make decisions like that. Speaking of saving certain items, this is going to be impossible to show. So many apologies. Um, I talked about, you know, Shein and all these different brands that just produce fast fashion. And so does Target and which I buy Target items or Old Navy. I mean, all these things that just end up kind of in a landfill that's just sort of depressing if you think about how much we waste on clothing items where it's sort of unnecessary. But this is Shein. And this is a size small. This is a tablecloth. This is a red and white gingham check um, tie front top. 
it sort of looks like a wrap top, but it just sort of ties in the, the front here at a bit of a crop. If someone were going as Marianne from Gilligan's Island, this would be the top for them. This would be a perfect Marianne kind of top with some jeans and uh, I just see that. This is a fun 4th of July picnic summer top. So I think it will sell, it's got a bit of a peplum hem, sell without problem based on the style of it rather than the brand because the brand probably sold it for $2.99 to begin with. So maybe I can get 15 bucks for it or 12, but at least it goes to somebody else who can wear it once or twice before it finds its new home or then finally ends up in a landfill. And that makes my heart happy. This is a poly cotton blend. So this day I had not found any Chico's pieces and I found this and I felt like compelled to buy it just because I hadn't picked up any other Chico's pieces yet. So this is Weekends by Chico's. So it's more of a casual line. It's a size zero, which makes this a small, but I liked it. It's um, this black trimmed micro kind of striped, just lightweight in it top. It has some side splits on the bottom trim and Chico's in smaller sizes doesn't do the best for me, but this literally came down to me panicking because I hadn't found any Chico's yet, which I find Chico's every time I'm at the bins and I typically buy it 100% of the time. Um, I also found a pair of pants, like a pull-on pair of pants, the So Slimming line, which will be in the next haul because they're drying, which don't typically do as well as the Chico's tops, but that's just kind of what happened. So I was glad I picked it up. I always find Talbots and Chico's. Those are my two tried and true <laughs> uh, mall brand for mature women. All right, this is the brand Jade and Ivory by The International, by something international. It's a US size medium. I bought this for style. I said in a previous video, I got just a field jacket, utility jacket in a brown color same thing here this is a utility field jacket and a camo so this has more of a military look to it but a fun lightweight jacket it does have roll tab sleeves has a zipper front and it has this um kind of contrasting exposed cotton which gives it like an old military like 80s 70s like vietnam to 80s uniform <laughs> look to it and this is a, I don't know anything about this brand. The comps on it were okay. I think around maybe like 18 to 25. Um, this is 100% cotton. Some of these, this brand have like a floral applique on the back. This one does not. So I don't know if that will hurt it or help it because it's more universal without the floral. I'm not sure. This is something I picked up. It was new with tags and I felt like it just needed to come home. The brand is Molly Bracken and it has a little four leaf clover on it. So I was drawn to it because I'm Irish or at least almost half. It is the Ara Araya, A-R-Y-A skirt, $71 retail. That could be in dinars, pesos. I'm not sure. I assume it's US dollars, but it could be euros. Um, it has a belt. This is a fun, funky, gives me a bit of like a 70s vibe to it. Like working woman in the newsroom. I have a story behind every piece of clothing I get apparently. It has this rust colored terracotta sort of lining to it. And then this, it's not snake print, but just an abstract print with a bit of metallic running through it. It has a side zip. It's a nice condition. It's just a polyester skirt. I looked, I just grabbed it because it was new with tags and the brand tickled my fancy. It's just polyester. Um, I don't know where this is sold at all. It's made in China, but it's like a U.S. brand that is designed in the U.S. So I'll put it on the screen. I looked it up last night, but I can't remember where it was now. Ha! Okay, this is the brand Peanuts. This probably, this could have been sold at Walmart for all I know, or Target. Um, it does not say. It's a size medium. This is a winter ugly Christmas sweater. It has sort of this Pendleton Southwest um, look to it. And it has the peanuts down here, the peanuts characters. 
And I, I don't know how the lights turn on. I think you just whap it and they turn on, but they are lit up with Christmas colors. It must be an LED light that is going on in there. And then eventually, oh, there it goes. Then it stops. There's Snoopy, Lucy, the whole gang. It is a uh, men's cardigan, easily universal though. And it doesn't say anything about how to wash it. Like, I mean, it does say how to wash it, but it doesn't say anything about how to wash it with the LEDs inside of it. So um, they must just, maybe they last forever. I don't know. There's no access to that. Oh, it looks like you can pop it out of there to change the battery maybe. Maybe, you, who knows? I have no in intel on that. Anyway, this is the ugliest sweater, cutest ugliest, ugly sweater out there. So stinking cute. I mean, this is an over large, over large, oversized medium. So this could potentially fit me at Christmas if it doesn't sell. I do have uh, an affinity for peanuts. I do love them. Okay, so the, this is Harry Potter and it says exclusively for Hot Topic. So Hot Topic has decent, you know, return on some of their items. This is a dress, kind of off shoulder, and then it laces up corset style in the back, and then it has this exposed lacy undergarment, like kind of pleated look to it. If you look closely, it's the Marauder's Map. Well, it also says right there, Marauder's Map from Harry Potter. Um, so if you're a big Harry Potter fan, I am too. I'm, I love Harry Potter. Those got children to read all over the world. And as a child of generations of teachers and an avid reader, I appreciate that. Um, I love the books. I love the movies. And I just think it created this whole world for kids to put their imagination in. Um, anyway, a lot of adults love Harry Potter too. So this is a size large. The retail on this was like maybe $60, I think is what I saw. But the resale on it was between, a lot of them were selling like $30 to $35. So I do have one that's in a nice, nicer, larger size. This would be fun if you were going um, to Halloween with like a friend or a partner and they were going as Harry Potter. You could go as the Marauder's Map. I don't know. Food for that. This I have to do a little research on because I'm not 100% sure what it is. <laughs> but it is Disney. It is a size large and it's this faux fur like hooded robe thing. I don't know if this is an adult size large or if it's a kid size large and it's supposed to be a long robe thing. So I'll have to do some research. But it's got these abstract Mickey Mouse cutouts in it. It has a kangaroo pocket in the front. This is a hood. This is cozy. If you were, you know, winter or I picture like going to your Disneyland, you're staying in the hotel, and you, which I would never go to because I don't like waiting in line. But you, um, you know, go to the hot tub at the hotel maybe, and then you put this on to go back to your room. There's my story for that one. All right, this is, I see this brand all the time and I never pick it up. It is Maggie London. This is just a polyester dress. It's a size four. And this is, I'll have to look up their tags. I assume this is a vintage piece, but I'm not 100% on that. It is collared. It has these front pockets, these long sleeves with cuffs. And it's a wrap dress or a faux wrap dress. So it does wrap, but it's attached so it can't unwrap on you, unravel. It's a midi length in this kind of, it's not cobalt or navy blue. It's just a, it's a blue with a, I don't know, purple. It's not translating very well on camera, but this gave me kind of academia look, but also something like Sigourney Weaver might have worn in like Working Girl or something. I don't know. I just, I brought it home. I will do some more research on the tag and kind of timelines. It does have shoulder pads in it, so it does make me feel like it's a little bit older of a piece. All right, this is a brand I do not pick up. <laughs> I have picked up CJ Banks before, which is um, the plus size line of Christopher and Banks, or Christopher and Banks, this is Christopher and Banks Petite. CJ Banks, I picked up as a kind of a trial and error to see if it sold. It is plus size, so it's 
obviously a more desirable piece, desirable piece on the resale market in anyone's closet. I got some cute pieces and this is just Christopher and Banks, which is a regular sized line. And it is a ape teat, but I bought it for style. It's very cute. It's this muted yellow, like um, golden wheat color with these stripes. It does have this almost surplus neckline, but it's a V. And it goes down to a below the knee, not quite midi length. It has an attached tie that I think will wrap around the back and then to the front. I need to put it on my body form to see. This is adorable. It has a back zip and I think it was 100% cotton. It's lined. So I bought this for style, not brand. Um, and I'm hoping that it will sell because of that. It is 100% cotton. I just think it's a really great piece for summer and I'm excited to get that listed. Speaking of summer, I, this is the brand Fabric, which I have discovered is just like a boutique brand. I've sold a couple things from it. This is a one size fits all most duster. It's a poly acrylic blend. This is not like a high end boutique at all brand, but this is a, I don't know. It's like an abstract animal print duster with this super soft, like an eyelash almost fringe detail to it. Goes into a dip dye ombre effect into this creamy peach down at the bottom. I got it because it's a long line duster with this fun print on it. It does have pockets and I don't expect a huge return on that, but I, I liked it enough to bring it home. All right, two more items out of this haul. This is the brand Uniglow, and this is a size large v-neck ribbed sweater. It is wool of some sort. It has a bell sleeve on it, and it has this fun little trim at the bottom that's a scallop. I, I say Uniglow, but it's a Q. So is it Uniqlo? I say Uniglow. Is that what you say? I think everyone else in America says that too. Okay, the tag um, is not in English that is on here. And so I need to do a little, like hopefully Google Translate action on it. I assume this is, I feel like it's a wool blend though of some sort. So I will hopefully find that out. All right, last item. This was a fun piece. This is one of those Trish just throws it in her cart and just knows it's going to be worth at least 20 bucks. This is Schaefer Outfitters, and it says Schaefer Outfitter, America made since 1982, America's finest ranch wear. America's finest ranch wear. It is a size medium. It has the style number on there, made in Texas, USA. And it is 80% wool, 20% nylon. This is a men's, uh, Trisha, why didn't you button this one? Men's vest. So this kind of has like a Filson look to it, but um, not quite maybe as desirable. This is just a men's brown vest. I'm gonna take a little bit of a sweater shaver to it. It has these fun buttons that have a star on it, I presume because of Texas. USA Schaefer Outfitters. The, um, and some straw. <laughs> Then it has a bit of a smocking here in the back to give it that little bit of a fitted look. This is a nice vest. I do need to lint roll it and sweater shave just a few little areas on it. Um, brown maybe is not the most desirable color of what I saw. There were some gray and black ones. However, I think this style, which is 805, I'm gonna look that up and see exactly how that style does. I think I can at least get you know, a really solid return on that. I think maybe $35, if not more. I'll let you know, of course, on the screen. So that is it, that's my haul. Um, that last piece is what just shows you, like sometimes just go with your gut. I just had a feeling about it, made in the USA, made in Texas. Sometimes those items aren't mass produced, so there are fewer of them on the market and they probably cost a little bit more retail wise. 
Um, and so there is a market for that on the secondhand market if somebody is looking for that similar piece because they like it. Same thing I found at Filson Vest before that sold right away. So um, a lot of places down in the south have, I think, their rodeo season in the spring. I'm from the northwest where rodeo season is in the fall and early winter, so or late summer, early fall. And so it's kind of, you know, I can let Western, rodeo, ranch. There's a lot of different keywords to use in there. So I am excited to list that. Anyway, that's it. That's my haul. Thanks so much for joining me. This was part three. There's just one more part of this haul, which will be out next week on Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time. That will be the remaining clothes that I have um, out of this haul that just needed a little bit extra work or dry time and my shoes and accessories. So I'm excited to share that with you. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Take care.